Let's take a look at the tale of the tape brought to you by Science. Science Extreme Supplements available at GNC stores nationwide. Wintello with a little bit more experience, Arlovsky with an inch height advantage, and their reach, Joe, exactly the same. Let's send it in once again to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this UFC championship bout is sanctioned by the Mohegan Tribe Department of Athletic Regulations with Chairman Bruce Bosom. Our three judges at Octagon side are Cecil Peoples, Jeff Mullen, and Abe Bellardo. And our Octagon side physician in charge is Dr. Schwartz. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon for this contest is Big John McCarthy. This event is sponsored by Zions Extreme Supplements. And now, live from the sold out arena here at the Mohegan Sun, it's time! This fight is five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, the challenger standing in the blue corner. He is a boxer and a jiu-jitsu fighter. He holds a professional mixed martial arts record of 19 wins with eight losses. Standing six feet two inches tall, he weighed in at 251 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, introducing Paul the Head Hunter. Introducing the champion, standing in the red corner. This UFC warrior is a kickboxer and a sambo fighter. He holds a professional mixed martial arts record of 10 wins with three losses. Standing six feet three inches tall, he weighed in at 236 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Instructions in your dressing rooms. Do I have any questions from the challenger? Any questions from the champion? Fight clean, fight hard, fight fair. Touch gloves, go back to your corners. All right, here we go. Here we go indeed. We welcome Octagon side with us once again, Eddie Bravo, to help us score this fight. Arlovsky has what Wentello wants the title, the belt, and we begin. Wentello's his idea is to check Arlovsky's kicks and get in there with punches. Arlovsky takes him down. What happened? What happened? Big John right away. Wow. It's over That's already. It. On the that field. is it. You know what? We were blocked. We didn't even see the punch at the end of the fight. Andre Arlovsky. Arm wow. in the air. Paul Guantello can't even believe it. And Joe, you can see his world is rocked at the moment. Wow. That was so fast. And we, we were from an act, we didn't even see the punch land. Well, much quicker than we expected. Wow. Keeping in mind some of the best finishes in under 38 seconds. Don Fry won in eight seconds back in UFC 8. Oleg Taktarov won in six seconds, excuse me, in nine seconds back in UFC 6. Let's, but, I'm sorry. Joe, look at this. Let's take a look at the replay. This is the, the right hand that stopped the fight. I mean, we didn't even see this. Right on the chin. You know, people are yelling out bullshit, but there's no bullshit in that right hand. Here it is. What a great job oh, by the big the John chin. McCarthy. Look at this. Bam, on the button, one punch knockout. Paul Buentello clearly was out of it. His legs were stiff, and he was gone. What that it? was it. Wow. Anticlimactic, but very climactic at the same time. 
This is what makes the UFC the high-class organization that it is. You've got employees like Big John McCarthy who see everything, and certainly he saw what happened, the right decision. The crowd may not like it, but that is the way it's going to be. Let's go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee John McCarthy has called a stop to this contest at 15 seconds of round number one. For the winner, and still the undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, the Pitbull, Andre Arlowski. All right, Andre, congratulations. Uh, a lot of people were booing because they didn't see the punch land. We didn't even see it land. It was so fast at ringside. Now, a one-punch knockout, you, you, you've gotten rid of almost every challenger in front of you. What do you want to do now? You know, uh, it's up to you. See, I'm a fighter. I'm ready for anybody, for any time. I'm a fighter, it's my way. All right, now, you won the title when Frank Mir was unable to defend the title and he had to be stripped. Does that bother you? Would you like to face him now? Of course, I want to fight against Frank Mir because a few months ago, our fight was canceled. Right now, I want to fight against Frank Mir. All right, now, Andre, you're clearly at the top of the heap now in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. What, what, what keeps you going? What challenges you now? One, I, can't, I need the help translating. Okay, let's, let's just look at the punch. Talk us through this. Did you see this coming? This is the punch that ended the fight. You know, I was a little surprised because Paul was so aggressive. I've trained hard in a boxing gym with my boxing coach, Mike Garcia, with my jiu-jitsu trainer, uh, Dina Castellas, my fitness trainer, Oleg Danilov, Val Polarnichka. I train hard, you know, I train th three times a day. It's my way. I'm ready for fight. All right, well, Andre, congratulations on another devastating performance. You get better every time out, and we really look forward to seeing you again. UFC heavyweight champion Andre Orlovsky, ladies and gentlemen. Very quick, uh, I want to tell, thank you all my, all my sponsors, all my friends who support me. Uh, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Of course, my team, Leo, uh, Alexi, Dino, Michael, Spencer Dilla. I appreciate my boxing uh, partner, uh, Carl Divas. All my guys support me from Chicago. Thank you so much. UFC, great sport. Uh, great crowd here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Joe, the more times you see it, the more unbelievably undeniable it is that Big John McCarthy made the right call. Paul Buentello just fell over with that shot to the chin. Andre Arlovsky retains his UFC championship belt. He is the heavyweight at the top of the pecking order. Everyone must come to him.